What is up guys, Bob Guy here, playing some core combo equipment in Modern. You know, it's pretty fast, and it has some good cards. I think I'm gonna keep it even though we don't have the combo. I mean, as long as you didn't have a lot of removal, Core Duelist Swing for 6 turn 2 is not bad. Uh oh, probably does have removal then. And it's still alright. Well, hopefully we'll find a combo piece and be able to go off, that would be good too. I'll try to hold off on dropping the zero drops until they're actually useful. I'm gonna try, right? Bone splitters. I mean, this is where, where it gets awkward, right? And then looking at his hand, or looking at his colors, he probably just has removal. Breaks, sure. Is it using two mana removal on it? No. He just uh, takes and goes to 13. All right, maybe he doesn't have removal. Blue white though. I'm given in case it's blue white control, I probably will try not to play into much. Like, I'm gonna keep this creature in hand, I guess. Can counter this if he wants to. Nope. All right. We well, didn't have the move the last time. I'll just uh, swing for ten here. All right. Is it three? Now he has the sweeper. I bet. He kind of better have it, because otherwise he's dead. Uh... Well, I got a pure steal so I can combo off. Do I do that before or after combat? Oh, maybe he has cryptic and he's going to bounce? If he's doing that, then I should use pure steal second. He's just played no spells so far. I'm guessing cryptic. Nope. Yep, cryptic. Bounce, draw. Alright. I was correct. Interesting question. Do I play pure steel? I think I play pure steel and start to combo off. And then equip up the pure steel. Always yes, always yield. I think I want to get the uh, draws off of this while I can. Another pure steel. I could wait a turn and play another pure steel. The advantage to keeping going is if I get a land, um, I can play another creature. I think I'm going to go for it just because I would like. Still no land. Alright, let's do it one more time. Nope. Nope. Come on, land. No. Double cranial plating makes pretty much any creature lethal. Well, I may as well equip him up. Actually, I should probably just equip up the Accord Shields. I don't care that much about... I don't think I'm going to need to block for that much. Uh, I doubt I'm going to need to remove that much. Well, it's not going to hurt to equip him up. I'm a little amazed that I didn't hit a land there. So that might have been wrong, given that I had the pure steel in hand. Plays planes. Presumably either has removal or a cryptic. He does have a supreme verdict. Alright, seems fair. Pass turn. Well, he probably can't counter very much here. I do get a land now. I could play and equip up Kite Sail Apprentice. That doesn't feel bad. I guess I can play both Kite Sail Apprentice and Core Duelist and equip something. I guess he would have to have another sweeper. You know what? I'm going to play out both creatures. Make him have another sweeper. Which he very well might have. He has five cards. But he needs... Yep, he needs the second Supreme Verdict in the top quarter of his deck. And he had it. So, now he might have counter spells. That gets a little hairy. Okay. Creature. It's going to counter it. Probably... Mana leak, obviously I'm not paying, that's fine. Core Duelist, who will kill you next turn if you don't have an answer, which presumably you have an answer. I mean, I'm going to spend the one mana to uh, equip him, right? Gideon Jura. Sure. Okay, so he fogs me for a turn, but... Unless he has single target removal here, the Gideon will die. Alright, equip one. Uh, 
I mean, maybe he does, though. Who knows? That could be Endura. He might have another counter spell, I guess. I'm going to try putting down Kite Seal Apprentice anyway. If he wants to use a counter on it, that's, that's okay with me. No counter. Okay, so he needs Cryptic Command or Supreme Verdict, I think. I'm not sure what else would win it for him. Nothing. All right, we got there. Oof. All right, that was a little rough. Um, against Control. I do tend to like Spectral Possession, although not great. Yeah, I think both all of these are pretty good candidates. I don't actually need Cranial Plating as much. It's still good, but it's just a little expensive for the deck and doesn't... Um, it'll, it'll help me win quick, but I don't think I need it. Uh, put those two in. I'm going to go down Sram up one of these. Let's go down in the quarter shield and up a creature. Just because I'm a little worried about them just re spot removing all my creatures or countering all my creatures, and that's a way bigger deal than, than the artifacts. So, against blue white control, we won game one. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty impressed by that. Especially after the cryptic command draw with the double supreme verdicts. I wasn't feeling super good, but we pulled it out. I'll keep. Okay, plays a land. Cordulist. Well, the spider silk net doesn't look great, but it might be my turn to play just because I want uh, to turn on double strike. I don't want to play my second Cordulist out there. I could also do Paradise Mantle. I, it really depends a lot what I draw, I guess. We draw. We draw Srams. He's probably holding up counter spell. Do I play the Srams into the counter spell? I guess that's the question. Um, I could also play Cranial Plating, knowing that it'll get countered. I kind of don't want to jam Srams into the counter spell, but I'm going to have to jam something into it anyway. Yeah, I'll just play Srams, that's fine. There's a mana leak here. I mean, I can tell. It would be weird for him not to have a mana leak here. Oh, Spell Snare instead, sure. Even better. So now I really need to top deck a land to turn on mostly Captain's Claws. That's kind of the important one here. Because with a land I can play and equip Captain's Claws. But, or, or Cranial Plating, which would be plus three, which is also not bad. Place down a Serum Visions. I'm still going to keep this Duelist in hand until I get by some of his Sweepers. I mean, that's one of the things that I can't do against him is play too hard into Sweepers. Pass his turn, probably with a counter spell up. But we did get a land. Try to play Clapton's Claws, see if he counters it. He does. Nope, I won't pay. I will play out Paradise Mantle. Equip, swing for two. Well, his draw is a lot better this time. I mean, last time he just didn't play anything until turn four. But this is exactly the kind of deck that the uh, the this deck has trouble with. So this is pretty much our worst matchup. Um, we really have to grind pretty hard. So this is, this is a tricky way to make a 2-2. Only he doesn't have a land to play. Stony Silence, sure. That's all right. Does suck. I guess I should have bought in my artifact heat. Um, I want to keep passing, uh, keeping this guy in hand. I don't think it's worth running him out. I can no longer equip. I think I can still tap this for mana if I want to. Spreading seas. That's fine. That doesn't really do very much to me. Most of my stuff is colorless anyway, unless you can spreading seas like literally all four. I guess well, three would do it because I, I do have some double white spells. All right, pass this turn. I draw. This is an interesting one. It would make it harder for him to 
It would make my guy bigger now and make it harder for him to counter, not counter, but to wipe the board because I would get a draw off it. So I'll play it down. Um, he probably has a counter spell for it, but that's that's okay. He also sees me with two mana up and maybe wondering if I have one of my combo creatures and whether it's worth countering this one. Especially because I left double white up, I could be representing uh, Pure Steel Paladin. I think he's probably going to counter it anyway. I, I'm betting he has like two or three counters in hand, so. He mana leaks it, and I, I won't bother paying. I will swing in. It's down to 11. Yeah, we're not winning this one, but he's also not done enough to, to make me feel like I should scoop. So I think I'm going to keep playing it out like this. Still can't activate this. It takes five in addition to itself to activate. Another land. That's not a good draw. Another combo guy is kind of what I need, although I don't have too much to combo with him with, but would still be relatively good. Well, game three, I know to put in my... Uh... So now he could activate his guy. I mean, I guess I just pass here. Now I'm in a hard spot. Yeah, I'm not going to run into a Celestial Colonnade. If I had a Bone Splinters on him, I obviously would just toss that crap in there, but... Passes, doesn't do anything. Uh, land, go. I got a lot of land this game. I mean, it is turn 8, though, admittedly. Still, I think, slightly above average. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Uh, it's actually, that's about right. I think that's slightly over average, but that's, like, within a reasonable amount. Okay, I get Kite Sail Apprentice. I'll play out a Kate Sail Apprentice. I want to counter it. Supreme Verdict. That's fine. I guess he's keeping up a counter spell still. Oof. Yeah, no, now I'm well over average on lands. Well, this is the less important one. He lets it go. He's up to six. Does he have Elspeth? That would probably be pretty good. Nope, just the Serum Visions. It must have been what he top decked. No, he probably top decked land. Oh, he'd been holding it up because he didn't want to go below the ability to activate Colonnade on defense. And now now he can activate Colonnade on defense while also playing Serum Visions. That is what, that's what it is. He plays. Oh, he activates Celestial Colonnade and goes on the attack. I mean, he will outrace me here. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I think I'll just play down the Kite Sail Apprentice. At least make the race more interesting. This might mean a Sweeper comes out. Maybe I should have played Armament Master instead. It's pretty crazy that I have seven of my, seven, um, SRAM style effects, and I've only drawn one, but it happens. It's down to seven life. He has a second colonnade now. He wouldn't even care about trading it. Does he activate colonnade and swing in? Does he sweep? I, I imagine one of the two. He activates colonnade and swings in. Okay. Come on, Pure Steel Paladin. 
Nope, just a bone saw. How hard do I want to play onto the board? This will take him to... I, mean, I think I got to play everybody out because otherwise I'm not going to win the race. With this out, he can no longer just swing in recklessly. Unfortunately, he can just sweep me, which is probably what will happen. But I think this puts my clock at higher than his, where otherwise it was not. But yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a Supreme Verdict here. I mean... It's only played one so far, and it's, it's at the point where it wouldn't be too crazy for him to have two. I mean, admittedly, I'm almost as far through my deck as he is, and I haven't even hit my second, my, my first pure steel paladin, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was expecting him to. The odds were in his favor that he would have one at the, a second one at this point. It's about even. All right, well, past turn. Um, I'm on a two-turn clock. I mean, the odds are still pretty good. Uh, I'm drawing 6 out of 40, which is every turn that's like, what, close to 25%? Not not quite, no. That's more like 12% every draw of uh, hitting a pure steel, which is what I need. And my chance of drawing land is still higher than that, to speak of the devil. I mean, not, not likely for me to draw land either, especially because I've drawn through half my lands at this point, and I'm not even close to halfway through my deck, but... Percentage-wise, it's still a 12% chance. Now I'm not even sure. Now I'm not even sure it does it because he can just swing in next turn. Is there anything that does it? Well, let's see what I get. <laughs> land. All right. Well, played out my land officially over 58% of the way through my lands in well less, less than half my cards, <laughs> beating the blue control deck that plays 10 more lands than me on lands easily. Not even close. Not even a. Not even really a contest. Um, I'm gonna go down Captain's Claws. Uh, I think Spectral Possession is good. I'm gonna go down the Stonehaven Outfitters. I definitely need the Fragmentize. It just it hoses me too much otherwise. Well, let's keep and see how it goes. This is not a good hand. Uh, I do have a answer to a Stony Silence. Turn two, I can Spider Silk Net on. Kite sail, which isn't terrible. Not exactly good either, but I mean it'll it'll get me to the point where I'm getting in for some damage. Put her at a two four, I believe. Doesn't survive sweepers though. And I guess next turn I'll just play down a cranial plating on her and swing for like four four. Again, not amazingly good, but could be worse. Um, no combo pieces, only one creature. Awkward draw. He hasn't shown me path, I don't think. Mostly just counter spell. I think he's probably just going to pass representing a counter spell. Given how good cranial plating is for me, it does make it a little iffy whether I want to. Maybe he's thinking. Maybe he's thinking about whether he wants to play down his uh, Sony Silence. Nope. Spectral Procession is pretty interesting too. I want to save that till after a Sweeper, probably. This is a Sorcery Speed. I could do this. The thing is, he's almost definitely going to counter it. Do I even do it? Do I just play it to get countered? You know, he's, he's always going to have counters up, so it's not really going to play around it very well. Breaks. Gets a land. Going all basics to try to keep his life up, I think. Um, mana leak? Yep. Well, I can't play for mana leak, so nope. And I could equip this, but there's no real reason to. I might as well keep it in hand in case I get a combo with it later. I don't need the extra mana for anything. There's just no real reason to play Spirit Mantle there. It's down to 15. I mean, he's probably going to have to use a sweeper just to kill this guy or something at some point. Stony Silence, sure. Well, it makes my next turn's play probably pretty easy. Alright, I'll destroy Stony Silence. Alright, thank you. Get in. I mean, I'm not going to bother raising my clock here. I'm I mean, I'm winning slowly, and I want him to have to blow Sweepers and Cryptic Command to keep me from doing better, basically. 
Stuck on three mana is interesting. I mean, I'm not bothering to play anything here. I think even, yeah, more land, Jesus Christ. No, there's nothing for me to play there. I'm not going to run a Spectral Possession into a Sweeper, so... Yeah, they usually run like 24, 25 lands. I'm in 17. I have more than them every game. It's crazy. Combo piece would be nice, but I don't even think I would play it until he taps out. He does have a path. Interesting. He has not had paths before. All right. Yep. I wonder if he just doesn't run four of them, or if he's just had bad luck drawing them. I mean, I don't think I play out Spectral Possession onto this board. It's just like, he's just literally, he has a counter up and I know it. So there's just no reason to. It's the only threat I have right now, and he is threatening absolutely nothing, so I'm just going to wait. Okay. Um... Srams will tell me if he has Spell Snare. I mean, that's the information I get out. If I do Spectral Possession and he counters it, he's going to use the blue and the white, and then he could still have Spell Snare, so I'm not actually safe to cast Srams anyway. All right. I, if he has to counter this with a non-Spell Snare spell, you can't Mana Leak it, because I can pay for Mana Leak. He's thinking a lot, so he probably doesn't have Spell Snare, because you would instantly snap off smell, Spell Snare, I think. He has Spell Queller. Seems okay. Gets to take it. That's not going to be super good against his stuff. Okay, Spectral Procession. Pass turn. Makes it kind of hard for him to, like I said, sweep, basically. Uh, he could attack with it and then have Cryptic Command and bounce one of my blockers if I blocked with three. Doesn't look like he does because he's running something out here. Oh, Detention Sphere? Are you kidding me? Man, this guy has got some luck. It's probably a one of in his deck. He just happened to have it. Yikes. Well, um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing we're going to be able to do against that. We just have to draw well now. I mean, I'll put down an army and a master and equip him up. No real reason not to. Does he have Spell Snare too? That would be hilarious. Yep. Alright. Man. When it rains, it pours, man. That's This is one of the luckiest draws I've ever seen out of control. Not a terrible draw for us, but not a great one. But yeah. His draw lined up super well against us. Um... Alright, well, he probably has Spell Snare. Or not Spell Snare, he probably has Cryptic Command. But again, I'm not going to not run stuff out. No, he doesn't. Alright, well, cast. I guess he could have another path. Nope. Always yes, always yield. Cast. Another land, that's not very useful. I don't know why he didn't do that earlier. Land. Go. Alright, so he did have another removal spell. Man, he hadn't been running single target removals. I wonder if he actually took out all of his sweepers or something. He should have uh, done that before my first spell. Alright, well. Kite Sail Apprentice. Flip her up. Eh, let's just... My 2-7 flying wall is good to go. Not a lot of white. If he had a sweeper, he, he wouldn't be able to cast it. You know... This would allow me to swing in, so I'm going to try it. Maybe he has a way to kill it, or a bounce spell. Nope, just takes it, goes to four. Man, well this has been an interesting game, that's for sure. 
I guess he used all his good spells right in a row. Makes it hard to dismember this person that they're at 3 7 also. Funny thing is, if he swung in, I would probably not block to keep him from wanting to play the sweeper. Oh man. So if you block, he does block this time, sure. Cast. Alright, um, presumably he has the sweeper at this point. Oh, like, does that take double white? I can't remember what, I think it might take double white. I can't remember what Supreme Verdict takes for mana. Poof, more land. Alright, well... Better than drawing those lands, I guess. Let's uh, equip up some stuff. Pass turn. Presuming he has Sweeper here, but you never know. Or at least Cryptic Command to tap my guys down. Well, he hasn't had Cryptic before either, so I don't know. I don't know what he has. It, we could win this. I mean, I don't know. He probably has Cryptic. I don't think I'm going to run out Cordulus no matter what. Attack. Spell Queller, sure. Blocks the 4 7, takes 2, goes to 2. Alright, well, it's kind of moment of truth for my opponent. We got there! Holy God! Yeah, he had all the Supreme Verdicts, but didn't draw the second white. Well, uh, I mean, that time at least he pathed. He only pathed one thing. He only pathed one thing, right? Yeah. So we still drew naturally six, uh, seven of our... Uh, well, I guess that's about on par at 37 cards. But yeah, he just had a lot of removal. Removal, this is one of the hardest matchups for us. I'm actually super impressed that we won that. Well... Good game, opponents. We got there somehow against a terrible matchup. I'll take it. Hopefully, I didn't whine too much. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to whine, but I was kind of like, "Oh my god, what do you have this time?" It was pretty frustrating. Like when I played the control, well, the blue white control deck, everybody left after game one against me. I know how they felt. That's how I felt this game. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.